Welcome to another Google AdMob Developer tutorial. My name is Justin Malandrucolo, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate an anchored adaptive banner ad on Android. In this video, we'll go over what an anchored adaptive banner is, then we'll be implementing the UI for a banner ad with Jetpack Compose and XML, setting the ad size for an anchored adaptive banner ad, subscribing to banner ad events, loading a banner ad, and testing the implementation. Anchored adaptive banner ads are designed to be anchored to a specific location in your app, such as the top or bottom of the screen. Anchored adaptive banners adapt by choosing an optimal height for the banner, taking into consideration the width you provide and the device in use. In practice, anchored adaptive banners help you create slightly bigger ads that preserve the aspect ratio used in other popular formats. Now that we have our bearings for what an anchored adaptive banner is, let's begin our implementation. You can implement the UI for a banner ad using Jetpack Compose or a combination of XML and Programmatic. This video will show how to implement both. For those using Compose, create a banner ad composable. This composable takes an ad view object and a modifier. The ad view is the ad object we'll create later in the video. The modifier lets you control the appearance of the ad view. Inside the banner ad composable, add a lifecycle resume effect so the ad pauses and resumes correctly during app lifecycle events. And then in your Compose UI, you can use the banner ad composable like so, passing in the ad view and the modifier. So you create the ad view, pass it to the banner ad composable, and use the modifier to control the appearance. For those using XML, open your app's layout file and add a frame layout. This will be the container for your ad view. Give it a unique Android ID, such as ad view container. To anchor it to the bottom of the screen, add the app layout constraint bottom to bottom of parent attribute. Now let's set the ad size in your code. What makes a banner ad an anchored adaptive banner ad is its ad size. Set its value as ad size dot get current orientation anchored adaptive banner ad size, passing in the context and your custom width. The SDK will determine the height. I'll be testing with a static width of 360 as the basic use case. For an advanced full width use case, you can calculate the device width. No matter your use case, the ad size must be set on the ad view before loading the ad. To listen for a number of events in the ad's lifecycle, implement the ad listener. This lets you track events like loading, impressions, clicks, and failures. This allows you to log information or react to events. Set the listener on the ad view before loading the ad to not miss out on any ad events. Now let's put it all together to load a banner ad into an Android app. First, create an ad view, then set the ad unit ID. Step two, set the ad size. Optionally, set the ad listener we created earlier. After that, clear any existing views from the ad view container and add the newly created ad view. Finally, build an ad request and load an ad. To test the integration, I've got the banner example application using AdMob's demo ad unit ID. After I launch my app, it makes a test banner request and lays it out at the bottom of the screen. Events are also being logged as expected when I interact with the ad. And remember, if no ad is appearing, that doesn't mean you've messed up the banner integration. It's possible other factors prevented an ad from rendering. Consider using the add failed to load callback to understand why an ad failed to load. Then use Ad Inspector to confirm the details of your ad request and troubleshoot any fail issues. Today, we defined what an anchored adaptive banner is, then walk through how to implement the UI for a banner ad using Jetpack Compose and XML. We learned how to load an ad and subscribe to its events. We then tested the code to verify it's working as intended. We hope the video was helpful for you. 
feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And remember to subscribe to AbMob for more technical content.